Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to bring you a video I've been meaning to make for a while. And I mean a while, okay? I was going to do this over a year ago, and then I just never got back to it. So, I'm going to show you how to make your own um, SPC weather outlook in case you just want to fool somebody. Um, you know, do whatever. <clears throat> so, the first thing that you're going to want is this picture right here. Wait, hold on a second. <clears throat> Whoops. No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> so you're just going to want to click Save Image As, and you can see I've already downloaded it. So um, we can... I'm going to leave this up. Um, then you're going to want to go into Paint.net. If you don't have it, download it. It's free. Um, this will not work in uh, regular Microsoft Paint. So you have to go into <clears throat> this and then you just want to go into here, drag your background, uh, just open the image, and there you go. That's what you got to start with. And then now we're going to look at... <clears throat> we're going to take, be taking a look at this at the same time. So, <clears throat> you can see how, you know, everything goes. You can see which way the arrows go. And you can even just, like, go to the current outlook and just kind of go off of that if you really want to. Like, you can see the arrow here. Um, there's an arrow here. I'm just going to do something simple, and there's even one here. So, <clears throat> let's just do, um, we'll just do a slight risk. So, go ahead and zoom in. And what you want to do, you just want to get your paintbrush or pencil and what I like to do is I like to get the dropper the dropper and just whoops I don't think that worked <laughs> uh, no it didn't so yeah as you can see, it's not doing anything. That's because I changed it to white on accident. So, yeah, I really know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you can play around with the um, with the colors. You can go to more and customize it a bit. Um, it definitely, um, it's definitely an art. So, you can see it's a bit of a darker color and um, you can mess with this how vibrant the color is uh, I'm going for like a dark gold so a bit closer to that right there so that's the color code if you want to use that 203135 or CB 8717 so <clears throat> you just um, use that although first um, I want to save this color because I do not want to you don't want to just go like immediately to the slight I mean you could but I've never done it that way so just add it to my palette and then we're going to go to marginal now marginal that's going to nope 
I did not mean to replace that, but whatever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway. Um, we're going to go to a dark green, a bit darker than this. As you can see, like this is really dark right here. So, darken that up. And then we can just add that to here. <clears throat> and then the general risk, which is going to be a very light color, which you can even use this for, which I am going to do. Although to outline it, you just go with gray, just because. And then I'll move this over here so I can use it as a reference. Y'all won't be able to see it, but you'll you'll get the idea now starting with that that doesn't look very realistic does it no not at all because the convection patterns you know they have a specific shape that they like to follow so you would wanna do something more like that you'd wanna use the pencil <clears throat> and yeah that's pretty much just how you would want to do it and I'm actually going to go and fill the marginal area in and then I'm gonna do one down here now I did the arrow the wrong way and the way you undo that, just go up here, boom, boom, that's it. And I can't even tell where I terminated the line here, so I will just do it right here. <clears throat> and just do it just like that, just like that. And then I'll go do the outline of the slight area I'm gonna redo that you wanna make sure it's like that <clears throat> and then now what you wanna do is um, go down here we're going to go to the fill and just start filling the states in like this. All right, this is pretty simple. Whoops, just undo that. There you go, hit enter. And then now we're going to go on to the marginal. Now the color to fill in the marginal, it's just going to be a darker shade of that which is not going to be that, it's going to be... You'll have to uh, play with it a little bit, but it'll be a darker green. So, turn the blue all the way down. And uh, you can see that's not it either. <clears throat> Nope. So this is a bit challenging. So, unfortunately, I cannot outsource a color. So I have to try to make it, which, not too bad. But you can also just do this, make it transparent. but you want to be able to see the state lines so you can do that um, you can still see the state lines but it's not the exact color you want it a bit brighter of a green so let's get a little closer to this and you can also see like if you change the color before hitting enter 
you can see exactly what it's going to look like when you do press enter. So it's just a bit darker of a green. <clears throat> I'm going to turn the blue down. add some let's add a little bit of red into it that looks a bit more like it and just make it transparent but just for the purpose of this video that's fine and then actually let me change it up a little bit more, make it a bit lighter, so actually this, whoops, you can also turn the tolerance down, so you, yeah, there you go. And you can see that doesn't really look good. So I'm going to undo all that. So. Actually, this will be perfect for the marginal. Yeah, I do not know what it's doing. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it's doing, but yeah, you can tone it, which I think that'll be good. Yeah, that's good. And then go on to the slight, which is a bright yellow and actually undo that hit enter first and you know just play around with it again just to see how it'll look um, it'll be like a a gold more like a gold color And uh, you might have to um, retrace the arrows. <clears throat> but you can see the one here is still pretty good. Uh, the one here um, needs to be fixed, though. So I will do that. No problem. So I'm also going to redo. Whoops. No. Turn the tolerance down. Let's do lighter green. Even lighter. Yeah, that looks pretty close to it. but you can do whatever you want with it so next thing is going to be the text the text is pretty simple so let's get rid of this although we will need it again uh, we're gonna do MRGL 
make it smaller, even smaller, even smaller. And you want it to be the same color as the outline so it stands out. There, you can see it stands out now. And then do same thing over here. MRGL. And then SLGT for slight. And there's that. And then one final thing I'm going to do is undo that. <laughs> uh, no, redo. Uh, whoops. Okay, I have to redo that. Slight. Just click on the arrow. So yeah, this software is interesting to work with, to say the least. But now, what I'm going to do, I forgot to do this. Just draw an arrow at the end of that, and you are pretty much good to go. So, yeah, that is basically how you make your own outlook. And if you wanted to do a hatched area, like, you know, right here, and then you want to fill it, you would change the fill to, whoops, you would change the fill to... dashed uh, downward diagonal and just like that that's how you do a hatched area <laughs> very simple so yeah um, <clears throat> hope you all enjoyed um, and I hope uh, you learned something from this I know it's been People have been wanting to know this for a while. I know Mike7493 asked me how to do it. Um, well, he's now known as Minecraft Mike. But, uh, yeah, sorry about the length of the video. But um, I hope it was educational enough for y'all. So, anyways, um, that'll be it for today.